Sal, welcome back to the program. Oh, thank you so much. I'm surprised that you let me back because I kind of do a bit of a, I kind of do smackdown whenever we talk, but we always do it with the most love with and love with, the, and with love and with the fact that we're looking, there's a goal in place. Yes, so. absolutely. Oh, well, I was talking about in the intro, how I always show you my sales page copy and you do indeed smack the hand, you smack me down, right? And you say, and you don't, you don't even sugarcoat it, right? You're not like, hey, <laughs> this is that. great. No, we're totally past that. You're like, why would you say that? Why wouldn't you say blah, blah, blah? So, and I'm used to it. I'm tough love. I can take it. Ex-New Yorker here. So uh, today we're talking about sales page areas of must focus, okay? Like that really move the needle in terms of selling and conversion. You are a master at this. And every day I'm getting better at it, thanks to you. Uh, so I thought we could chat. Sound good? I would just like to say, I don't think that you're bad at it. I think oh. sometimes <laughs> it just takes somebody else looking at it from a different perspective. Yes, and so good being point. good at it is very different when you're looking at someone else's sales page than when you're doing it yourself. Like, yeah. let's be really clear. Do, doing anything for yourself is so much more difficult oh, than so jumping true. in and so giving true. that unbiased opinion. And I think that's why you always need to have someone, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, whether you're working with an expert like yourself or you know someone who's more experienced than you and you and you kind of get them to play off it because they're coming at it from, like we work in very, very different fields. Yes. And so you can look at something and tell me like, that doesn't make sense. And I can look at your stuff going, that doesn't make, like you've overcomplicated it. And it's, let's be fair, it is much easier to do when it's not yours. But I do think that you should always have somebody else look at your sales page and just, just kind of give you their two cents, but not your mum or your auntie who just are going to tell you it's fantastic. You need <laughs> someone who's going to give you a bit of smack down. Well, yeah, I agree. And then also I do know my, I do my, my strengths and weaknesses. Like I know I've got a simple sales page formula in the six week accelerator, because that's what I'm all about. Just getting it out there and getting the minimum viable sales page out there. So I love that plug and play, but I look yeah. to you sometimes to be like, okay, how do I take this to the next level? Right? Like, how do I bring in that richness and that, that and I, sassiness? And I think sometimes we get so like, can we just start with, we didn't even talk about this one, but can we just start with not everybody needs a long form sales page? Yes. Yes. Amen. Thank you. And even, even weirder because I have, I don't know, I would say I've had thousands of sales pages in my many decades of doing this. The funny thing is a, you know, a $9 or $27 or $50 product needs a 27 page long form piece of copy. <laughs> whereas a $20,000 offer, I have an offer that's in the tens of thousands of dollars. It's simply a video and a button. Love it. That's it. Right. And a headline. And then an invitation, right? An and invitation. An invitation. Yeah. So because at that level, your people are already qualified. qualified. Like if you've They're done more. your job, yes. you don't need to tell them anything more. Yeah. But at 27, 10, 15, anything kind of under a hundred dollars, you really are trying to convince people. So mm -hmm. kind of having that, and we're going to talk about some of the things you can do, but just being understanding that I think sometimes we start really low and we're like, oh, I just will get a fifteen dollar thing out. And I'm like, well sell a $20,000 thing and you have a video and a button and a headline and you just made 20 grand. Right. Right. And yeah. I love what you're saying here though, because it's figure out what's appropriate, right. For the audience, yeah. where are they, right. The price point, what are they doing with you? Whether it's a $27 tripwire or a $27,000 mastermind yearly program, right? Yes. Yes. Like, Knowing what, you know, what what you want the person to do is, oh, perfect segue into our headline, right? Oh, so good. Number Look one. Look at that for a segue. Right. Number one <laughs> is just knowing what you want, like what is the outcome for the person? And I think we overcomplicate that. And I don't know, have you got some examples there of yours? I do. If you want to find, oh, good. Yes, I was going to say, if you want to find yours, yes. let me give you some of mine. So okay. just to be really clear, I work with retail and e-commerce store owners. I do training programs, consulting and coaching and mentoring. And so what I help people do is grow their businesses and realistically make more money. So do you want to know what my sales page for my tens of thousands of dollars of mentoring pro program is? Yes. It's literally, I'm reading it out to you now. Yeah. Want to consistently get more sales, customers and money in your business. 
Mm. Yes, please. Yeah. Please <laughs> you yeah. want someone to say yes, yes. right? It's like, yeah, that, that's hand. what I'm right. here for. Pick and me. then yeah. my sub headline is the 5X framework is helping retail and e-com store owners easily grow their business in as little as 90 days. Love it. Like, so is that so what clear. you're here for? Yeah, what are you I know. here for? That's exactly what I want. You just answered, you You solved the pain point. You told me what you what exactly what I'm looking for. I love that. Yeah, all right. Do you have what? one of yours? And we I can do. do. This is so... what a Gina and Sal Smackdown would look like. <laughs> it does actually it, look like. Oh, it does look like this. So this is the online course Jumpstart, which by the yep. way, if you're interested in a blueprint to help you create your course, online course Jumpstart, I'll link to it in the show notes. A uh, little quick plug there, Sal. I know you like that. Always, so originally, always a call to action. <laughs> originally, I had a little bit wordier benefit statement here. I'll give you a, a clear path so you can finish your course, start welcoming students, and build your business ASAP. Okay, so that's oh my god, I, it's about like is this a year's program? Yeah. <laughs> like that, that to me seems like I'm just sitting here thinking. That feels like so much. So work. much. Right. So, so all then Al, of that. It's Sal laid the smack down. Yes. So much. And then is that I what I said? You. That's no. I feel like that's what I would. I don't remember what I said. No, because we talk said, about this so often. You said you need to shorten that immediately and yeah. and tell them what they're getting in a way that they want it. So we shortened it. And this is what we said get the blueprint to launch a course that converts. Ha! What? The only thing I would add now that we've yes, been doing this is probably a time yes. frame. Oh, frame. okay. I love that. Okay. You know, in yeah. like, that's what we've got in, in as little as 90 days or in, yeah. in 24 hours, in yeah. two weeks, because now you've given me a tangible thing. Yes. Like now you've made me feel like I could actually do this because the mm -hmm. first one that you had, I'm first thing I'm thinking is this is a 12 month mastermind. Yeah. Right. It was do too much. all of that. Yeah. It was, it was like, you like, all no, no, this is just like a, no, no, it's just a trip ride. Right. It's just a small, course, and I'm just, right. I mean, it's so great, think, guys. If you're listening right yeah. now, it's still super <laughs> wonderful. But so, it was but too wordy. And it's, even yeah. though that's the outcome, yeah. like what you've done there is you've like under-promised and over-delivered, which mm -hmm. is what you want your customers. You'd be like, oh my God, I got all, like I just thought I was getting I this blueprint, this. but oh my God, Gosh. I got all of this stuff. Yeah, Look at me. Right. And now you're empowering your customer rather than, I would go to that page as someone who is kind of new to the course creation industry and just be like, that I like, I don't think I can do it, but yeah. that feels like way too much work. So let's just go back to mine. I'll pull another one up. So this yes. one is my tripwire. Okay. And this one does have, it is, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, it's, I don't know, it's 27 pages to sell 27 scrolls okay. to sell a $27 product. Right. But this is because the people who are coming in have no idea who I am. Right. Like right. literally they've seen an ad yeah. and they're clicking on it. So my ad, just to, to kind of frame this up, because we didn't really talk about this. We, we weren't going in there, but my ad is literally some text that says, have you got, got old inventory that you need to get rid of? Some of them have a few examples. Some of them have words that say things like, um, you know, you've got thousands of dollars tied up in old inventory, cash that out fast. Like, I'm just trying to get you in the frame of references. What I'm talking about is trying to move out old inventory and turn it into cash. Okay. So then when they come to my sales page, it says, and we have done a lot of testing on this page, and this yeah, is, is the one that works. Discover nine fail-proof ways to move old stock and bring more sales into your business in 14 days or less. Mm. So it does sound a little bit wordy and yeah. some of that is bolded. Like but you've bold. been testing that, right? So we have tested it along the way. Yeah. So here's the thing. The first iteration was here are nine proven strategies to move old stock. So we, it was okay, but then fail proof, like fail proof, Oof, like proven yeah. or fail proof. Love it. Like there's some psychology in there. And yeah. so now this page converts, being aware that this is completely cold traffic, this page converts at our benchmark is 6% for a paid offer. Wow. Which really is, great. if you don't know what we're talking about, is ridiculously that's high. really good. Yes. Yeah. So the, I guess maybe even like knowing some metrics is really important to people because if it's a free offer, 
mm-hmm. it's got to be converting at at least 30%. Yes. So if you're under 30%, there's a disconnect somewhere right. there. Right. Um, like honestly on a free th- yours is not free either, but if you're just doing a free checklist, if you're doing things right, I kind of want that number up around 50%. 50% of mm. people who are coming are going, this is what I want. Yeah. This is why I'm here. Give me the thing. And so like now that sales page went from about a 5% conversion rate to a 6% conversion rate just right. by changing yeah. proven to fail so proof and putting that proof. 14 days Wow. in. So Simple uh, tweak. I love it. I love it. Uh, we've talked, so we talked about language. I want to, I want to shift gears mm-hmm. here to offers, if I may. Can we go on? Oh, yes. Break? Yes. Okay. Sure. Cause I know you're sure. really passionate about this. So, uh, yeah. and specifically tiered offers. So, because I feel like everybody wants to do a tiered offer these days, Sal. And I don't know, it's because the big guns all have tiered offers or it's a juxtaposition, but tell me, what do you, what do you think? And when I say tiered offers, I was about to say, how about, yeah. For you want to define not it? Quite sure. Yeah, you define it. Hit it. Okay. So are we, just make sure we're on the same page. A tiered yeah. offer is where you might have um, the the first iteration of the program might be four hundred and ninety seven dollars, mm-hmm. or you can get this program with all these extra benefits for seven hundred and ninety seven. Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. We're so on the same page. Two two different uh, levels, right? Levels. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And this, I mean this strategy is being tried and proven inside of course creators because you think about the last time you signed up to zoom right you went to yeah. zoom and it had all the different pages. usually right. there's three right and then there's one that sticks out because this is the most popular yeah it's psychologically proven that that stuff works, works. and so course creators have gone oh okay well let let's put this in so I think a couple of things we need to take into consideration. One, I'm in retail and e-commerce, so I'm all about money and margins and price anchoring. And what this does is called price anchoring. Yeah. So you put a higher price on something to make the lower priced thing look more desirable when actually what you want to sell is the lower priced thing. Mm -hmm. So, if you think about a store, because that's my area of expertise, you might go in and there might be a $500 jacket, but right next to it might be a $200 pair of jeans. And mm-hmm. you know, originally you'd be thinking, I'm not paying $200 for a pair of jeans, but now I've got $500 in my head. $200 seems really Doesn't like, seem so bad. Doesn't seem so bad, right? <laughs> okay. So that is called price anchoring. You can go and read all about it if you want to read about it. So this is what course creators are doing. But if you want to try this, there are a few, like, um, I guess, you know, things I would say, think about before you do it. And one is for most course creators, those extras are generally some kind of interaction with a person. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're going to add, the the most common one is you add coaching. So, or you add some sort of one-on-one element into it. And that's what people are paying more money for. So if you're going to do that, you have to think about, can you actually facilitate that? Mm-hmm. Like it, what would happen if 20 people bought that and you were right. offering one on one and you and I have had this conversation because yes. you've said that. And I'm like, so if 20 people buy, how are you going to do that? And you're like, oh, I didn't really think 20 people would buy it. I'm like, but what's the best case scenario? Right. So can you actually even service the thing if everything goes well? Because we always just think, oh, if I just got one or two, it's like, well, no, but what if, it, if it's such a good offer? What if you sold 20? Could you even do it? So you can take that and say only available for two people a month or three people a month. And you can add some FOMO and some limited time and make that more enjoyable. But can you facilitate it? But more importantly, because I love money, what are the margins on this? Mm. Because too many course creators undervalue their time. And so if you are having to have one-on-one calls and you, you have haven't factored in that you're probably worth at least a hundred bucks an hour yeah. then and you're you're offering 12 one-on-one calls well there's twelve hundred dollars at least like what's the margin on that and what's the opportunity cost if you're spending time with someone one-on-one at a hundred dollars an hour could you have made more than a hundred dollars doing a better sales page right so the opportunity cost of money needs to be taken into account here as well right. thinking about all of that is a tiered offer 
the best thing for you. And sometimes you can kind of, I guess, play on this and go, I'm going to make that number so ridiculously large that if someone pays for it, I'd be happy to It'd drop it. It'd be worth everything. it. Right. It'd happy be to worth fulfill. it. Right. Yeah. So you might have a four ninety seven product, mm-hmm. four hundred ninety seven dollars, but that one on one stuff is seven thousand yeah, dollars. It's right. And you'll do it for seven thousand oh, dollars. You'll yeah. find the time. It's you'll all find good. The time. But still, what that's now doing if we if that was me, I would have done like four ninety seven and then four thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars. Mm-hmm. Because yep, those too. numbers work really well. Yeah. Uh, and you might want to do it at five thousand dollars. But what it does now is like four hundred and ninety seven dollars is like that's cheap wow like that's right. about, oh my gosh, like that's a steal my gosh yeah yeah so i think where people get caught up here is when it comes to looking at other course creators they don't understand that all the extras have probably already been created like there's no cost to the course creator to do that or they have a team who's facilitating it and they know their margins and they're getting economies of scale right and so you can't replicate that if you don't know what it costs within your business so if you're thinking about that can i oh can i throw something else in here okay and say if tiered offers don't work for you because now you've had this conversation you're like oh actually i don't want to do that maybe you look at some upsells inside of the sales process and, mm. and we didn't say we were going to talk about this but if we could just bonus. quickly jump no, I said in we could do a bo- bonus material. we could do a bonus okay yes. this is the bonus um so if you came to my uh what is it again nine fail proof ways to move <laughs> old stock and bring more sales into your business in 14 days or less you go through you buy the thing and then on the sales page and this is all inbuilt to all these carts right. these days it's like do you want to add my double your sales workbook for $19. Mm-hmm. So we have about a 50% take up rate on that. Which so that means great. we've just added $20 to every sale, well, to 50% of the sales. And that makes a huge difference. But then after that, and this might be a little bit technical, that bit is easy. It's called an order bump. So if you're using Click Funnels or Kajabi, yeah, if you're Kajabi, just doing an order bump. Yeah, yeah. or Thrivecart is really great for Thrivecart. that. I'll link to Thrivecart you can in the do show all notes. This stuff. Yeah. We then have an upsell. So we would kind of call that a cross sell, but then we have an upsell to a $197 mini course. And it's called like, again, back to language, how to create a crazy successful sales campaign in a weekend. Mm. Does it tell you what it does? (laughs) Does it tell you how long it will take? Yes. So again, now like that language is, I've just bought this thing that's going to show me how to get rid of old stock. Oh, I'm probably going to have to create a sales campaign, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, maybe I'll buy this thing. And our conversion rate on that sits at about 6%. So I think we can do some tweaking, but that's still not too bad. That's still pretty good. That's That's still still pretty good. So Um, let let me jump in here though. So for anyone whose head is spinning right now, because these are great strategies. These are little advanced. You could, quick do, recap. you could do a cross sell or upsell to your course workbook. Like say you have yes. an electronic PDF and it's like nicely designed and it's all in one spot. You could upsell to that. Like it doesn't have to be because I want you guys getting your course out. Right. Yes. So checklists, people will checklists, pay for checklists yeah. and scripts, richer content like that swipe yes. files right? Anything that yes. means less work. Yes. Okay. So, so swipe this is great. files so start 100%. Small. Start small. You yes. don't have to have like a, a 197 course that you're upselling no. to. No. You could have just like one piece. Okay. Yes. Yes. And and if you can just add $10 to the sale, yes. then your cost of acquisition goes down. Goes your down. margins are going to go up. Everything is happy. Absolutely. So it's just once people give you their credit card, it's easier. So again, back to psychology, when you buy something, and you hit like the the page, you actually get a dopamine hit. Mm-hmm. So if you're playing on that, like if we're gonna get into behavioral psychology, when you present something to someone at the time when they're the happiest, there's a pretty good chance they're gonna say a yes. So this is just playing on our natural behaviors. And I know all of your listeners are ethical. The thing they're gonna offer is going to work. It's gonna oh, be yeah. helpful. Yes. And they probably undervalue it. They probably yes. built it already mm-hmm. and they don't ever use it. And they just go, oh, I kind of think people would know it. I'm like, well, no, they don't know it. Like just even if it's $7 and it's some email scripts or it's some coaching scripts that you created or it's checklists, like it's templates, like social media templates, yeah, anything. Great, great. 
because yeah. that buying is going to move people along the sales process further down the path with you further i down. love it yeah okay third and final area salad i want to talk about is the guarantee on the sales page which to me is even more important than ever these days yeah so okay. why, this one's why is that this one i think a lot of people struggle with and i'll be honest mm -hmm. i was offering yeah, I had products that were all the way up to $100,000. Mm -hmm. And I remember a mentor saying to me, so you're going to guarantee me I'm going to make that money back, right? And I was like, yeah. but how do I guarantee I, the work you're going to, like, I can't right. guarantee yeah, what you go me. and do. Yep. And he, and he said to me, well, so, but if I do all the things that you say, I should at least make my money back, right? Otherwise, why would I give you my money? It doesn't make sense. And that got me thinking. It's like, well, while I can't control the actions that you take, I am so confident in what I've created that if you did all the things, you would make the money. Yeah. It's like, right. So that's the guarantee. You do right. all the things. Do the things. Uh, do the things. And so and you to this day now, yeah. and you will reap the benefits. And so people are looking for, you'd be surprised how many people want $27 back rather than a hundred thousand dollars. Right. Because they have to, they have to do work like nine fail proof ways to move old stock. You're going to have to do something. And they're like, Oh, I don't want to do this now. It's like, well, the guarantee is you do the work. If it doesn't work, we'll give you your money back. It's simple form. Right. Right. What did you try? What were yeah. the results? Press submit. Yeah. We've never had a refund Yeah. because people don't do the work. So let me just be really clear about you're allowed to have conditional guarantees. But if you are putting something out there and you don't guarantee it, then why should I buy it? Like, like what, what do mm -hmm. I get out of this? Like, if you're not convinced, what, how are you going to convince me? Mm -hmm. And I know this is something that you and I have talked about a lot because I think I'm, I'm going to go so far as to say I'm the only person in my industry who offers a guarantee that I will make you at least what you pay me. Mm. And guess what? If, if as a customer, you're weighing up two separate people and one is guaranteeing you that you will make money and the other one isn't, which one are you going to choose? Yeah. Because we want that security and it doesn't matter if it is $7 or $7,000 or $70,000. Yeah. We want to know that if we are parting with our money, that we are going to get a result. And everyone who's built a course is to get some kind of result, right? That's the result that we're putting in the headline. So mm -hmm. If you're not con you're not convinced that it's going to work, then why are you selling it? Yeah. yeah. And we could be talking like you and I both do quite significant things, but we could be doing something as simple as how to apply mascara without getting fallout. I don't know something like that. Beauty is not my area of expertise, yeah. but it could be something simple. How to choose the right pair of glasses for your face. Okay. Like it doesn't have to be life changing, although. The right pair of glasses will, might be life changing for some people, but I'm buying that because I'm convinced that like, I want to have the right glasses shape for my face. So if I buy this, I want to be able to choose the right pair of glasses. Like that's kind of simple. And if you do your job well, then I should be able to go and buy myself the right pair of glasses. Right. Right. But it's, Okay, this is goes back. We talk about this all the time, course promise, right? And then making sure it's a clear result and it's a tra a transformation you can really do, right? You're not saying yes. like, I'm going to teach you how to become a doctor if it's a if it's a class about in the next 3 weeks. Yeah, right. And it's just about like figuring out symptoms or like getting in touch with how yeah. you're feeling, right? So yeah. it's not overblowing blowing out that promise of what you yes. can provide. Cuz then yes. you can deliver I, on it. And, and and under promise and over deliver. Yes. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. So my nine strategy, if you actually get 10. <laughs> oh, there you go, guys. You heard it here first. There's the secret. Um, but the guarantee, like we, we are so uncomfortable because we worry about refunds. Mm -hmm. And if that's what you're worried about, why would someone refund you? Which is what I had to do when I decided to put the guarantee in place. I had to reverse engineer. Why would someone not get those results? Love well, it. because they didn't do the work. Okay, so now we have accountability forms or we have accountability check-ins. Uh, we have a roadmap. So each module that they go through, they have to tick off that they've completed everything. So we now have all these checks and balances. So if someone, somebody did want a refund, we're like, okay, well, you need to give us 
all these things. It's in our terms and conditions. You have to fill out your dashboard every week. You have to submit debrief forms. And if you don't do it, then that's not our fault. Like we know if you do the thing, you'll make the money. And so that is going to actually allow you to create a better course experience because all those places where people would drop off and throw their hands up in the air and just go, oh, this is all too hard. If you're mitigating those along the way, then you've got a much higher chance of people actually completing it. And of course, the more people who complete your program, the more people who are going to be satisfied and happy and tell other people. But what is it? Like 97% of people never finish a program that yeah, they buy. Right. So yeah. we get, you have to understand that 90% of the people who buy your thing aren't going to do the work and be okay with that. Right. And they'll be okay with that. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love this. I love this, Sal. Okay. So just to wrap up, just to recap, uh, have that strong benefit statement at the top of your page. Make sure you are saying what you're going to deliver on in a, in a juicy and a sexy way to think about tiered offers. Does it make sense for you? Can you deliver on it? Think about uh, how you're juxtaposing your pricing, right? And yep. then three, guarantee price, uh, price anchoring yeah. oh no we've got that upsells price anchoring and then price anchoring and upsells cross-sells. you're right thank you yeah and then three guarantee uh or 3.5 depending on the bonus uh what will what will stop them from getting those results and think about how you can kind of bake that into your guarantee i love how you asked that question so yeah. so good sal where can we learn more about you and your genius where can you get your nine yeah, where can I get my <laughs> nine ways to move sock plus my bonus way? Uh, you can just find me at selenanight.com and I am not Selena Gomez. I am Selena, <laughs> it's A-L-E-N-A. Um, I was here first, thank you very much. selenanight.com or over at the Bringing Business to Retail podcast and I hang out more on Facebook than Instagram, but I'm starting to change that. I'm trying to get her more into IG, guys. Yeah. So we're working yeah, on that. Getting there. All right, mm-hmm. thank you so much for dropping like a ton of knowledge, Sal. No problems. I hope it was helpful. Please feel free to reach out and let either Gina or myself know if any of these things have helped you to change the way that you're putting your course out there.